There's growing concern about the shortage of salt that's needed to keep the roads safe. We first reported this last night. With crews working around the clock to clear out the snow, there's also been a concern about the cost of overtime. Anna Myler continues our team coverage of this latest snowstorm from Colony. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Jim. That's right. This is about 500 tons of salt behind me, but it's only a fraction of the 3,200 the Department of Public Works ordered. They say this is an uncomfortably low level of salt to have in stock, so they're starting to mix it with sand to give drivers that extra traction on the roads. And the shortage isn't the only problem. It's only February, and the Department of Public Works has already gone over their $50,000 sand budget for 2015 partly because the cost has increased by $10 a ton, but also because we've had one storm after the other. They're also close to going over their $125,000 snow removal overtime budget. Crews began clearing the roads at 6 o'clock last night and just stopped a short time ago. Most are resting right now, but they'll be back out starting at 10 o'clock tonight to clean up the rest of this storm. That means racking up more overtime, so cuts will have to be made in other parts of the budget. Luckily, uh, you know, this happens at the beginning of the year, so we can make adjustments uh, throughout th with our budget through the rest of the year. So we may look at some projects and, and uh, stretch them out a little bit or postpone a project or two. Um, you know, last year we had a couple of vacancies in the department that we were able to not fill until the beginning of this year. And so we were able to cut, cut down on costs in other areas in order to compensate for our um, overage in these areas. The Department of Public Works hopes the salt shortage will be remedied soon because the more they have to use sand, the more cleanup they have to do in the spring, and that ends up costing them even more money.